Hey everybody, Carla here, day six of the Juice Fest. And today I want to talk a little bit about fear. Um, I was talking to somebody on Facebook who said that they were scared to start a Juice Fest. And then responding to someone else on the Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead page about how they were scared to fail. They were scared to start and they were scared to fail at this process. And I think that what we all need to realize is that it's not all that scary. You can't be afraid of being hungry, first of all, because that hunger that you feel abates within the first few days. Now it's day six, I'm in my groove, I'm feeling pretty good, and I don't feel hungry. But one of the reasons that I don't feel hungry is because I drink enough juice. Again, I talked about it a little bit on the Juice Fast Prep Day um, video. You gotta make sure that you have enough juice on hand. And there are people that say during a fast you're only supposed to drink three glasses of 20 ounces of juice a day. And if that ain't enough for you, drink more juice. You're not hurting your body by drinking more juice. It's a good thing. You're just getting more nutrients in. As you go through the fast, you may want to drink less. But in the beginning, if you need to drink up to a gallon of juice, drink up to a gallon of juice in order to abate your hunger. It's amazing how much drinking that juice will satiate your hunger. Don't be afraid of your stomach grumbling. It's just your body going through its processes. It doesn't mean that you're really hungry. I call hunger two different things. There's the body hunger, the honest to goodness body hunger that you feel. And you know when your body is hungry, not just when your stomach is grumbling, because sometimes when your stomach is grumbling, it's actually just processing the stuff that's in there. Well, you can feel in your body when you're hungry. There's that hunger. When you drink some juice and you have that kind of body hunger, your hunger abates just like that, it's gone. However, there is that mind hunger that mind playing with you, like craving, you smell something, you see something on TV, you know, you'll pass by a popcorn stand and who can resist the smell of popcorn? Not many people. I'm telling you, that's the mind hunger. And it's when your mind says, yes, I'm really hungry. Ooh, wouldn't a pizza be good right now? And oh my God, remember those ribs that you had last week? All of that, then your mind starts going off into these circles and these spirals and you think, oh my God, I'm starving, when you're really not. It's not the body hunger, it's the mind hunger that's messing with you. And people get really scared of the mind hunger. They get scared that I'm going to feel deprived, I'm going to feel left out, I'm going to feel like I am absolutely starving and I'll never have a burger again. Okay? so you don't have a burger again. Okay, drink some juice. You really will feel so much better. And as you practice this, as you practice the art of juicing, because it does become an art, your body will relax. Your body will stop thinking that you're trying to starve it. And it will just relax into the idea that, okay, we're getting all the nutrients we need, we're feeling good, we're feeling peaceful. We're in the moment. So I think that the fear that a lot of people feel is about being hungry during a fast. And at the beginning, okay, you're gonna be a little hungry. So what? Let it go and just be in it. And then also, if you get to day one, you find that day one's kinda going hard for you and you may need a cracker, have a cracker. I'll have a you know handful of grapes on your first day in order to just kinda get through. Have a handful of grapes. Don't beat yourself up about it. This is the time to be at peace with your body, to really be at peace with your juicing. And if you're constantly throwing yourself under the bus because you think that you're not doing as good as somebody else, that you're not doing as good as me, don't compare to me. I wasn't doing all that great. I mean, I got to day 40. This is what happened in my last fast. My last fast, I felt like I was sailing really, really sailing along. And I got to day 40 and completely freaked out. I then had to eat everything that I could possibly get my hands on. A couple of things perpetuated that. First of all, 
it got to my birthday and I don't know what it was about that day, but I woke up with this immense sadness. I woke up thinking that I wasn't on my right path, that I you didn't have anybody who loved me, blah, 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 yada, 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 cue the waterworks. It all came out on that day. You're going to go through the emotional changes when you're fasting too. That's something that a lot of people are scared of. But another thing that happened to me that really freaked me out is I went and had my birthday with my family. We had an absolutely great day. But on that day, we were at this impromptu art fair down in Silver Spring. And we saw a family friend. And she looked at me and she said, Oh my God, you are so skinny. What are you doing? You look great. You look fabulous. You look wonderful. I needed to eat. I'm not a person, believe it or not, by these videos, I'm not a person who really likes all that attention. And if you're talking to me about how great I look and how wonderful and all this, you know, these changes, I freaked out because I was burying my head in the sand just by doing the juicing. I figured I'm not gonna weigh myself, I'm gonna kinda hole up in my in my apartment and you know when things are when I'm at the end I'll pop out and all this change will have happened but change happens as you're going through it and people will notice they will they'll ask you about the changes that you're making in your life because those changes are evident they'll ask you what you're doing they'll ask you what's happening with you they'll compliment you they may criticize you whatever all of this Change is happening while you're juicing. And for me, that was so scary. That was so, so scary. But this time I realized that I have to feel the fear and do it anyway. I can either remain fat because it's more comfortable, it's safer, it's more mentally satisfying. What kind of sense does that make? It doesn't. So I can then be healthy and people are going to notice, and you're going to get the attention, and you're going to do these videos, and people are going to comment, okay, but my health is the most important part of that. My mental stuff will catch up with the healthy body that I'm, ha that I'm having. I look in the mirror now, just after six days, and I'm starting to like what I see really like what I see. I like the way that my skin looks. I like the way that my body is changing. I know that my body's going to change even more by the end of this 40 days. And before, completely freaked out by that. Totally. I know what the fat Carla looks like. It's been a long time since I've seen the skinny Carla. Long time. Long time since a lot of people have seen the skinny Carla. And now, you know, people are going to notice that means more attention from men, more attention from women, more attention from everybody, the good, the bad, or indifferent. But that fear that I feel about the attention, I have to let go of because it doesn't serve me. What serves me is being healthy. What serves me is juicing. So whatever your reason for being scared to juice, whether it's the criticism from your family, the attention that you'll get from others, or just that feeling of hunger, whatever your reason is, Deal with it and juice because it's worth it. It's totally, totally worth it. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, by tomorrow, you'll have a juice in your hand. Talk to you later.